Hey guys, I am on a journey to grow my own food, and I would like to take you with me. trying to do a one-shot video because uh, my solar batteries are not cooperating. We're off-grid and it's hard to upload stuff when you don't, when, when there's so much cloud cover as you see outside. Anyway, I am trying to grow my own food. This video is about a seed haul because I enjoy watching other people do seed hauls, so I figured that I would share mine as well. Um, my background is I'm from the city and the suburbs after that, and I am not actually a great gardener. Um, the stuff you see behind me is actually my first, like, really good try at it. Uh, we've done a few experiments here where we've tried a small swale and things like that. Some things work, some things don't. And, um, I just finally feel ready to put in the really, you know, a nice small garden where I'm serious about growing our food. Um, yeah, so that's my intention is to be able to grow our own food because it will lower our bills so much if I can do that. And it's just fun. I'm like really interested in permaculture and fruit trees and all those fun things. So I really want to get my hands in the dirt and I really want to try some things. Um, yeah, so my intent is to grow good food for my area, which is the Texas Hill Country. Um, I'm in zone 8A. Uh, we're at 1300 feet. Uh, which makes the temperature go up and down quite a lot. And um, we have a sort of a Mediterranean climate where the summer is just like the desert. It's scorching hot here. Um, but we still get a few frosts uh, in the winter too, so it kind of chops your growing season into two. <laughs> and... Yeah, so I was so excited about my seeds that I made an inspiration board from the seed catalog. <laughs> so here it is. Let's see if you can, yeah, that looks pretty good. Anyway, this is, this is the stuff that I would like to grow. Um, this is all the seeds that I ordered. And I just really wanted to get excited about it. I wanted to order about a million things from that catalog, uh, but I whittled it down and I'm trying to be reasonable. Um, I got a whole bunch of plants that are drought tolerant because that is very necessary here. Uh, we get lots of rain, just not in the summertime. That time is really rough. Um, <clears throat> Also, I made that inspiration so I would actually go outside and dig and work on the bed because it's a brand new thing. We haven't actually made any growing beds yet. So I needed that, all that colorful food to help me say, okay, I can go work outside for a while. I can have everybody else come help me for a while and get it done in time for spring. <laughs> okay, so the next order of business is opening seeds. <laughs> so I opened this yesterday because I got it and I was like, yay seeds! And then I put it back down and didn't actually look inside because I thought I should record it. So I'm very excited. Let's see what we've got. I'll just do one at a time. And hopefully my video doesn't run out. Okay, I've got some orange tomatoes, although, oh, uh-oh, that's going to all read backwards. Sorry, guys. I've got orange tomatoes. You can see the pretty pictures, though. 
I've got yarrow, which I just thought was so beautiful. Uh, this must be an extra. I've never tried this. Kohlrabi. I don't know if it'll grow here or not. And ooh, some lettuce, which we have a ton of wild lettuce, prickly lettuce. Um, oh, these I did order. This is pink bananas. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm excited about this one. I'm going to grow it near our gray water so that it gets plenty of moisture over the summer. Um, and I'm just excited because, you know, it's all tropical looking and the pink. I just, I'm, I like colors. And this is a melon from India. It's a, like a honey sweet melon, drought tolerant. Um, here are some carrots that uh, are supposed to do all right in the heat instead of cold weather carrots. Um, here is some Mediterranean kale. It is beautiful and tasty. Ooh. I don't know what that sticker means. Overpacked due to low germination, 32%. Hmm. Does that mean they gave me extra seeds? Maybe I can figure out how to germinate it right. I don't know. But anyways, got strawberries for my son. He loves strawberries. And, well, we all love strawberries. It's just a thing. I've got some giant sunflower seeds, which should do well. I've got catnip. Now, I should have bought that for my cats, but I actually bought it for the ants. I want the ants to go away. So, trying to deter them, whoa, from my house, and my light is going to go out now, of course. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, I've got some Hopi corn, drought tolerant. Oh, I've got this awesome squash. It's, it's supposed to store forever and be really sweet and giant and prolific. It's a Tahitian squash. And, oh, got to have some vine tomatoes because... Hello. Actually, I really love vines. This is a desert watermelon. Thought that might work well here. Um, I've got some bunching onions. Oh, and I bought this um, beautiful safflower. Um, I use safflower oil all the time. And the flower. The flowers can be used like saffron as a as a flavoring. You're getting a light show. Mm. <laughs> oh, and it's got lots of thorns on it, so it helps keep the deer out. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Okay, I've got some yard long beans. Um these are supposed to grow a ton of food, which is a huge deal for me. Um, and I've got a mix of Asian greens because we eat stir fry like nobody's business. I'm so excited. I hope at least some of these things grow because like I said, I am from the city and I do not know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm trying. I did my research, baby. Okay, I've got some really cool Italian clovers. Um, that is my ground cover to hopefully help keep nutrition in the soil. Um, <laughs> uh, this is some red Malabar spinach. It's supposed to love the heat. It's a beautiful vine with purple colored stuff on it. Oh, hi. There's no more light. Okay, let's turn around. But anyways, it's supposed to love the heat. I will turn you so I get a little bit of light. And you can see my dirty kitchen. But yeah. Um, yeah, so that will be so beautiful. Um, this is parsley, curly parsley. It goes yummy. And I've got some 
basil of that Thai basil. It's pretty and it's perennial. Oh, echinacea, that's an extra. That should grow really well here. I think it's there's actually some wild echinacea in this area. I've got some giant peas, like a ton of giant peas. It should be really cool. Oh yes, I bought these bushel basket uh, gourds. They're giant round gourds that get very wooden and um, you can make art and bowls and whatever out of them. I, I literally just got those for fun. Uh, oh yes, and this is very important. I got goji berries. <laughs> uh, they're supposed to be drought tolerant and they, they do they just should do a really good job here. And plus, I mean, it could be like a really good crop to sell if I need to. I've got giant lettuce leaf basil because we love basil. I've got Chinese broccoli because yummy. And, ooh, I got lemon basil. That is a freebie. Yum. Every kind of basil is awesome. And, oh, that's the end of my bag. That's it. So I'm sorry I ran out of light. I'm sorry I'm having so many technical difficulties, but I am not sorry that I made this video. It was fun. I enjoyed myself. Um, let me just make sure I didn't forget anything on my little notes. Oh yes, we are going to be trying to plant in a swale. Um, that is so that we can contain more water during that drought time in the summer. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I mean, let me show you my garden plan real quick. I've got a paper that I drew out and it's going to be awesome. I made a, a semi-circular garden plan and we are attempting to dig that out at the moment working on the bed part of it and dude i'm just excited i'm so excited to build this i'm so excited to grow food for my family and just thank you for sharing a few moments of my journey with me <laughs> bye